Alrighty folks, it's Anisos, and we're back exactly where I left off last episode, as you can probably figure out. Um, I'm continuing recording from where I was last time, so let's go ahead and salvage you. We're going to turn you into a seed, uh, which is a little bit... A little bit scary. I think I'm going to actually keep this one piece of corn, because we don't have... No, actually, we've got fertilizer. Okay, let's craft the seeds. And let's get these into the ground, like, now. So we're just going to equip those, and we're just going to put them in the ground. You don't have to till the soil or anything. Too near to spawn. Oh, and missing soil. So apparently there's a spawn point there. Um, I do want a uh, kind of a flat-ish area. If we were going to build an actual base, we'd probably go up in the hills somewhere and find a good place, but for the moment, all right, here we go. So just left click it, pop them down. So the faster we get these in the ground, the faster they're going to start growing, and the faster we're going to be able to, to harvest them and start making some progress on the food front. Oh, I had three potatoes, okay. So this is, this is our long-term stuff. Now the fertilizer is sort of like uh, uh, Minecraft bone meal, so we could Fertilize something. Okay, got a carrot seed. Or is this one carrot? I don't remember. Yeah, that was carrot and this is tomato. So we got a pretty good amount of seeds already. Uh, so we could actually fertilize a couple things here and be able to eat it right now, which we which I want to do, but I also want to be able to get my agriculture skill up a bit first, because the higher your agriculture skill, the better chance of getting a second seed. Yes, we're going to eat eggs straight up. Let's see what happens. Good. All right. So there is cooking, and you can make better meals and all that stuff if you um, can learn cooking and make a campfire and cook bread and all that kind of stuff. But right now, it's, it's very much... Well, right now we don't have much, and I think the game at the moment, you know, there, there's... You can just eat raw vegetables straight up, basically, and you'll be fine if you can get far enough. Uh, okay, so we're going to go chop down a tree. Now, let me see. These are all maple trees here. Are these pine? Oh, these are pine. Good. Okay, so those in the distance with the, uh, the rounded part, I think that's maple. If it's got a white trunk, then it's birch, and I think these are pine. Turns out that pine trees are better than... Um, Pine trees are better than, are, are, are the best tree. Maples are the middle and birch are the worst. And having a better tree will actually give you better um, storage chests, like with more room and all that. And you should be able to chop down with this. Any bladed weapon should be able to chop down a tree, including a kitchen knife, by the way. But it's going to take a while because we don't have an actual axe at the moment. Is this not going to count as a bladed weapon? Ah, there it goes. Good grief. Okay. Oh, and don't worry, the trees don't hurt you if they fall on you. They, they're just a graphic thing here. Alright, so pick up all the logs and all the sticks. And you don't bother to do that until you have at least... Okay, there goes the sun. Now, no big deal when the sun goes down. Uh, not like running zombies and stuff all over the place, but... Uh, it's just harder to see is all. Uh, so you don't bother to do that until you have four or more metal scrap. Because we need to make a saw. So we're going to go into crafting and then we're going to go into uh, gear. Which is a weird one. Searching is actually kind of the best way. And the other thing is, by the way, you can't find anything unless you have one of the pieces for it. So right now I can see that cloth and glue make duct tape. Or tape. But if I didn't have cloth or glue, I would come in here and it would not tell me this recipe exists. So you kind of, you either have to know what you want already, or you have to go to the wiki because, of course, it has all of the recipes. Anyway, we need two metal sheets. Actually, I can demonstrate that right now. Let's drop this metal sheet because what I want to do is I want to make a saw. And if I search for saw, it says, oh, <laughs> all right, I've already made a plank, plank uh, yeah. Because saw is used in that. So let's do that again. Go to saw and search. And there you go. 
Saws don't exist. There's no saw in the game. Now, if I pick up the logs, which is what we just looked at, uh, search, and you can see, yeah, if you have a saw, you can cut paint, uh, logs into planks, but it doesn't tell you how to make the saw. So now, if we pick up a metal sheet, and we'll make one more uh, under here again, and we, now if we look up saw, even if I only had one of those, it would say, oh, two metal sheets make a saw. So that was a big sticking point for me at the beginning. All right, so let's chop this up, make some planks, and then that can make uh, either a crate, which is the smaller one and easier to make, or we might have enough for the wardrobe. Ward. Oh, I hit backspace. There we go. Uh, we need one more stick for that. That's fine. I, I honestly don't need it at the moment. The other way you can find that is you can go here into the furniture, and you'll have to scroll around a bit because there's all sorts of tables and stuff, but um, yeah, here's the pine crate. And it also puts all the stuff you can make in green at the top of the list. So the list changes depending on what you have or don't have. All right, let's go into our inventory, equip this lovely little pine crate, and we're just going to pop it down here by the road. So I'm not trying to do any crazy cool base building or whatever. I'm just trying to survive as uh, best as we can. Uh, control and right click will put things from your inventory into the crate. Oh, that's at 1%. Can I repair you? No. Okay, we're going to have to make some more stuffs then. Uh, arrows. Uh, let's put all this away. Actually, let's keep a flare on us. That's nice to be able to lure zombies away from places from time to time. Uh, we need three sticks, I think. Oh, yeah, we can convert one of you into sticks. And nails, and then we can make arrows. Oh, we have three arrows. All right, well, let's just get rid of the 1%. I don't need you. Don't need you a little bit, little almost broken arrow in my life right now. That's fine. Okay, and that's gonna be good for now, I think. I did not run with you. Uh, good, except that we have like no food at all. We got a granola bar. Okay, so how are we doing? We're at fifty percent. I could use the fertilizer, and I could grow these, and I could. Um, Instant, insta grow some food. Let's drop the fertilizer in here. But I'm going to wait because I want to get some points into agriculture, which will give us a harvest speed, which means nothing, uh, but extra chance to get uh, a second crop out of it instead of just one, which then we can double and we can make more and more and more food. Right. I could put some points into that right now, but honestly what I want to do, I think, is let's keep bumping the survival, and we'll go into town. There we go. That's maxed out. We'll go into town. Now, with five, with ten points, I want to put a little bit into Sneaky Beaky. That's going to make us um, much better at sneaking around in town and making sure zombies don't hear us. So, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all good. Did I not reload you, I'm guessing? Right. So, let's reload you. Okay. Huh, that's farther out of town than I was thinking. All right, whatever. I'm like, did I come out of town at all? I guess. All right, so now it's it's turning nighttime. It's going to get all ugly and orangey and all that, but, uh, oh, bugger. All right, let's do it. Get him. Yeah, oh, yes, and he dropped a vat. Awesome. So that's our fourth piece. Okay, so uh, day pack. I can't believe I one-shot him. That's awesome. Day pack is your backpack. Uh, you can have some sort of a vest, and then you can have a top and a bottom, and then we can get better ones later to give us more spots, but that's the four slots. Perfect. I didn't see him when I walked up, and then he came at me. I was like, all right, let's go for it, but did not expect to one-shot it. It's all about the timing. you got to just get it before they get to you, but don't freak out and hit it so early that you miss, because then they will just walk right up to you and eat your face. We don't want any face eating going on around here. I've been in this house, right? I don't know. They all look the same at this point. I've been in so many houses, but yeah, this is the same way we came in earlier. Okay, so the zombies have respawned, but I'm sure the food is not. I did not go into this devil's door. <sighs> Great. All right. The, these things have too much health, and I swear if they touch you, 
they will just straight up rip your legs off and make you bleed and it's just it's a bad news dude I try to avoid them at all costs until I'm a little more a little more established okay so check this out we're just gonna go sneaky sneaky I don't even have any sneaky VT yet so let's try this okay right up behind him we can just stand we can sit here it's all he's fine I can stand up we're fine didn't see but I didn't one hit him that's so weird uh, anyway they can hear you but if you're a little bit careful you can uh, sneak up behind them pretty easily especially once you've got some sneaky beaky <laughs> sneaky beaky I love that sneaky beaky points um, it's pretty good alright so we got a crawler there we got this guy here I can kill him easily enough but that's probably gonna alert the crawler which is a pain let's see what we got here an ace clip so that's uh that's a gun that's like a 44 magnum kind of thing what are you okay a lot of monitors holy crap okay I want this set up all the monitors and and I guess he's got a big old security camera pointing at him I don't know what the heck's with that all right here's what we're gonna do let's go for the ranged shot okay and did you hear? You did not hear. Okay, this is not going to kill him. But let's get a shot on him and then we'll go to... Yeah, there we go. I got him. Okay, sorry. It, it's the timing, man. I mean, it looks super simple when it works, but if you miss, oh, they will just rip your legs off, man. I'm telling you, bad news. Uh, there is not a single thing to eat here. Oh wait, there's a piece of cheese, and it's terrible. Twenty-six percent. We may have to eat some terrible cheese. And a little bit of glue. I I didn't know this, but apparently you can drink glue and get a little teeny tiny bit of um um that stuff back. Hydration. Okay, so the ponchos actually have quite a bit of space in them. Now the vest is actually somewhat bullet bulletproof, I think, but we're not uh, playing PvP, so I don't care. All right, so that's four by four. This is only three by four, so we actually want to go that route and we just salvage this guy up. Uh, actually, do I have enough to repair? No, one. Thought I just salvaged that thing. Anyway, uh, we'll get some cloth and repair that up. Notice I just. Uh, left clicked on here and it took it off be careful of that because if you take something off and it's got a bunch of stuff in it then uh, all that stuff falls on the floor and it's really a pain just annoying that's all okay let's check this last room man we we have really got to get some food going here it's great that I'm getting some storage and all that but I need food like now nothing in there and nothing in there. Okay, let's get out of here. So I should be focusing more on kitchens and diners and stuff, I guess, because what we got there. Ah, fast food, perfect. Never seen a fast food place, but it sounds perfect. All right, let's get this guy's attention. Nobody back here. I hope it's bright enough you guys can see, because it's definitely nighttime now. <laughs> Not very bright out. I can get a flashlight out, but then I can't have my weapon out. So uh, let me let me double check that. Uh, if we can grab a flashlight, now nah, yeah, see I can't do it unless I take my weapon off. Um, boy, that's gonna be really dark. All right, let's 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 turn your gamma up a bit here so you guys can actually see something. I don't have to post edit everything super super much. Let's see how far we need to go like that. There, that should be a little bit better. Sorry if it's still dark, but um, it is dark in game too. I'm I'm kind of wandering around in the dark and try to kill some stuff and uh, steal their foods. Okay, you didn't drop anything. Oh, that's a ghost. Uh, 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 dang it! All right, we're gonna run. We call them ghosts. I think they're actually called flankers, but they turn invisible. And then they do their best. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna just drop you over here in the cor corner. They uh, they turn invisible, and you maybe see him. He's just there. He's 
slightly purple, and then they do their best to get around the side of you. And it makes it super hard to hit them with melee. All right, come, how far are you going to follow me, dude? There. All right, go, go back. All right, so we can take you out. We're just going to do that right here. <laughs> After I reload, I am not used to having a crossbow. I didn't use a bow at all in the other map, so... All right, good. So if we just one-shot him, everything's fine. Um, get my arrow back, hopefully. Yes. And no food! Wonderful. Uh, but yeah, they're just such a pain to hit, because you're like... They come up to you and go around, and you're like, let me swing! Let me... Where is it? And, and you can get in a lot of trouble with those things. <sighs> okay, I don't want to do this, but... You, I'm sure you guys can't see a dang thing right now, so let's go ahead and put on a flashlight. There are headlamps and other stuff, but apparently you can't figure out how to use your um, tape and your flashlight to like tape the flashlight to anything as far as I can figure out. If you guys know how to do that, please let me know because I would really like to know. American flag, nice. It's weird seeing that after playing, uh, well, can, can Canada and then uh, Russia. But even in Russia, I swear we found hockey. All right, we got to go back to this. Uh, I, even in Russia, I swear we found hockey uh, sticks all over the place. Maybe I'm just misremembering that, but I thought we did. Okay, and let's get up behind you nice and quietly and get killed. All right, chef bottoms I don't think are going to be any better than what we have. Ah, I, come on. Yeah, yeah, just don't miss. That's the key on those guys, just don't frigging miss. All right, let's do this. Let's try to make sure we're secure in here. Oh, grocer, awesome. Okay, so now that we're secure... Oh, I see something right here. Frying pan, all right. Let's go ahead and put on a... Um, Thank you. Flashlight. Two. Oh, that's so bright. Okay. Now, they don't seem to directly respond to having light flashed on them, but I think like it makes you easier to see. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Give me all that chef hat I don't care about. guess it'll give me some cloth. What is this? Big J exposed. Is Big J poisoning your food, or is it Big J making it more addicting? Blah, 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 stuff. Yeah, there's little flavor text things you can find around. Most of the ones I found are, like, about the uh, apocalypse and the uh, military response and all that kind of stuff. I, that one's funny. It looks like a reporter was trying to report on Big J, whoever he is. Okay, we're getting some stuff here. But your knife is nice. That's a really good one for uh, quick, quick strikes and it's done... Locking. I swear I heard a zombie like walking around. Normally they don't move unless they hear or see you. So if you hear one walking around, you should be a little careful. All right, hold on one sec. How are we doing? 46, 26. Okay, we're going to have to go deal with that pretty soon. Uh, these bottoms. Now, probably what's going to happen is this is not as good and this is going to drop stuff on the ground. But just to show, yeah. Uh, well... 2 by 5, so that's 10 versus 3 by 4, so 12. Two slots different. And it's, of course, interesting because they're um, different sizes, so. Yeah. And we can scrap this flashlight, by the way. Because the other one is at 100%, although I don't know that the percentage even matters on that. Alright, we have got to eat something really soon. Oh boy. I know the cheese does restore a little bit of, uh, we do have bread. I think if we can get another piece of bread, we can make a cheese sandwich. Let's eat this 50% chocolate bar. So that should not lower our immunity if I know what I'm doing. Yes, but it also doesn't give us any uh, hydration, and we're going to die from dehydration if we don't get some hydration going soon. Okay, salvage that. This, you can cook with it. Okay. I've never actually cooked with it, but um, who knows. All right, well, hold on to that for now. Oh, yeah, right. Let's get a flashlight going again so we can see something. Let's get over to that grocery store. 
Then I might steal that Jeep and try to get out of here. The only problem is, oh, what is that? That oh, pizza place, good. All right, grocery store, pizza place, and I don't know. I can't see. Post office. Yeah. The only problem is, as soon as you start up the uh, vehicles, everybody hears you. I think what I was trying to say is, like, you can shine a light on their face, and they don't respond. But I believe the light does make it easier for them to see you. So, um, yeah, you want to be careful carrying lights around. Okay, orange juice. It was kind of bad shape, but, hey, uh, we're going to have to take whatever we can get at this point. Let's see what we got in here. Ugh, 15% beef. Ew. Come on, give it to me. Ah, bread. Okay, so I'm going to have to look it up, but I think we can make um, a grilled cheese sandwich with that. Two breads and a cheese. I think that's all it takes. But I'm not super sure. Canned cola, 50%. Almost 50%. Oh, yes. Okay, the grocery store was a huge score. Candy bars, garbage. Almost garbage, but again, it's going to hurt your wellness. But if it means you don't have to, uh, you know, starve to death, maybe that's worth it. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's a guy there, there's a guy there, there's a flamer down the way. Okay, this could get ugly in a hurry. Oh, there's a guy there too. Dang it! All right, let's uh, let's get out here into the forest for a second. We're gonna spend a few more points. See what we got. All right, so we got 40 points. All right, that's already maxed out. So actually, no, I'm not going to spend. I'm going to wait for the egg. I do, I do want some sneaky beaky. I, I used to call it sneaky baby, but whatever, sneaky beaky, because that is super helpful for sneaking around on these guys. But as long as we're careful, we don't 100% need that right now. So let's eat a candy bar and drink a can of cola or two. Where did those colas go? That's the one problem, man. Stuff is just everywhere in your dang inventory. Here we go. Equip that. Pick it up. Oh, and yes, that makes noise. No, you don't want to be near any zombies when you do it. All right, we're going to drink this one up. It's 49%, but it should be okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's not wonderful, but it's better. Uh, what else do we have? We got a 40% soda. Let's go for it. That might hurt a little bit. Yeah, a couple points of wellness, but not too bad. 40% uh, granola bar, sure. So this is one way to lose your immunity or wellness. And the other big way, we're not going to eat you. We're going to craft you into a seed. And same with the tomato. The other way to do it is to... Sorry, I'm trying to see what all this stuff is. Canned ham. Sure, let's eat that. The other way to do it is if you get hit by the zombies, you're going to lose wellness every time you get hit. Oh, that was good for food. wish I had a little bit more water or soda or something to drink here. What is this? 39% orange juice. Repair. Can I repair that? Oh, if we had uh, water purification tablets, we could get that to 100%. But we don't, and I haven't seen a pharmacy. So fine, let's, let's drink that up too. Oh, good hydration. Not good for the uh, wellness, but good hydration. All right, guys. Um, where are we at? Yeah, let's get back in here. I was gonna say maybe I'll head back to uh, our little base. Our little base, but uh, let's and or wait for morning. But we should be getting a little bit of light really soon here. I want to kill a few more guys. We'll, tr we'll try to finish going around town. I know it's dark. I'm, I'm sorry about that. There's not much I can do about it beyond what I already did. Uh, if it's too bad, I'll try to remember to add some effects in editing, but we'll see. And, oh, piggies. So we could actually kill piggies and then cook them up, and that would be good for food. But, again, it's not going to help us with hydration, and hydration is really the biggest dang problem early on. Well, food is too, but uh, I guess I'd say they're both pretty much on par with each other. Post office. Where? Mm, thought I saw another place to eat. Come here, guy. Yeah, don't try to sneak up on them, those 
Because it seems like 90% of the time, if you try to sneak up on it, he's going to see it at the last freaking second, spin around and, and eat your feet, eat your legs off, just, just give you all sorts of troubles. So I uh, gave up on trying to sneak up, and I'll, I'll let him hear me, and then try to hit him at the right time. Okay, I'll hit the post office. There's somebody in here. I hear somebody making noise. Get down low. Move slowly. What do we got here? Glue, tape. I wish... Well, okay. Let me check. Let me check the rest of this. Yep, there's a guy right there. All right. So, you know what? That's fine. We're just going to get you right here where it's nice and easy. We know where you're going. Everything's good. Grab that rope. Grab the tape. Uh, so, when I first got to a post office, I was like, man, I wish I could check the packages. You can. You can hit them. However, I have never once seen anything in any package. Now, this is, I've been mostly playing on the Russia map, so I don't know if it's different per map, or if you just like literally never get anything in these stupid packages, or what, but yeah, you can break them open, but it doesn't seem to do you any good. Anything out back here? Oh yeah, a little something. Grab that, break you open. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's a super low percent, but I don't know. It seems pointless to me. So far, at least. Alright, so we did the post office. Let's go. Uh... Alright, here we go. Oh, yep, here we go. And. Oh, missed. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That was not too bad. It's when you freak out and try to run that things really go badly a lot, I think. Or I feel like. Uh, what else can we salvage? I kind of want to keep the frying pan. I'm not sure, but I think we can use it to cook with. It says you can cook with it. 49% eggs. Well, nah, I don't need them right now. I'm going to try to get in here and see if I can find any more liquid, <coughs> liquid to drink. Hi. This scythe is pretty good. I like the speed of it, and the damage ain't terrible. Ain't terrible. Uh, but yeah, I'll leave a baseball bat for the moment. We don't have much room left. Okay, we got a guy here. Let's get rid of him. Oh, water. Yes. It's probably 12%. Oh, how did you hear me over there, dude? You jerk. Crappy eggs. Okay, some more wheat. We can make a seed from you. Should not be passing these eggs up. They're they're forty percent. They're not horrible. They're not great, but they're not horrible. Okay, so we're actually pretty far along to surviving. Uh, probably a little bit further than maybe it seems like. More golf clubs, t-shirts, suit bottoms. All right, let's start scrapping some stuff. Oops. Right, I could do that from here. Uh, grab this. All right, drop you, drop you. Salvage and pick them up. All right, so we're basically out of space. So I'm gonna have to go back and we're gonna have to do some stuff. We can salvage or craft that into a seed. Craft that into a seed. Let me uh, take a little bit more look through town here. We're pretty much out of room, and then I will head back to base. Oh boy, it's been a whole episode already. Um. Yeah, I was just going to show you about how we're not, we're maybe a little further along than you'd think. A toque? Great, I don't need a toque. Uh, but we're out of time, so uh, we'll have to wait for next time for that. So I'm going to do a little bit more loot in town uh, between this episode and next, and then uh, we'll start back at the base next time around. So as always, hope you're enjoying it. I'm having fun recording it, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. And if you like it, hit the old thumbs up. If you don't like it, well. You can hit the thumbs down button and let me know too. Either way. That's it. See you in the next one.